good. Now let's talk about a cycle or a cycles in thermodynamics. And I'd like to call them linked sequences of thermodynamic processes. So we're going to be talking about many little processes and eventually they get into one end and to the same beginning. So you can either transfer heat or work in and out. You can change the pressures of the system. You may, I mean, it does, you don't need to, but you may. You may also change the one of temperature and other state variables such as uh, specific volume, entropy, enthalpy, etc. And the important thing here, guys, is because it's a cycle, it eventually returns to the initial state. Let me show you a little bit or some one of them. This one is about the combustion or heat generation cycle. You have one, goes here, combustion, turbines, and goes out. Then it repeats and goes out, etc. Uh, you will have first process one, then goes to process two, process three, process four, and then start all over. You can see that this cycle is way better to see it in a diagram here. Or this other one. It's the same process, but this is entropy versus temperature. No, temperature versus entropy. One goes to two, two goes to three, three goes to four, and begins all over. The Stirling versus Carnot cycles. Well, you have these really awesome processes, but in real life is that you don't have them that beautiful. They are not straight. And this here and this here are not adiabatically bore isothermal. And the important thing here is one, two, three, four, and eventually it returns to one. One, two, three, four, and eventually it returns to point one. And there's also the current cycle for you have temperature versus entropy. Point A, B, then C, then letter D, and then you start all over. So that's about cycles, guys. I don't want to see a lot of that because we are going to have a complete chapter on cycles, but just get the idea that a cycle is a process in which you start from one point and you finish in that point. One other example of, recycle, of cycle will be the ranking cycle, which we will be working a lot with. And that's everything, guys. Next section is the interaction between work and energy. What's up guys, it's me, Chemical Engineering Guy. So if you like the video, why not push the like button? It really helps me to know if you're liking the videos or if I should be changing something or if I should be adding something, taking out content, whatever. Also, sharing is caring. So if you got any kind of friends, teachers, colleagues or whatever kind of person that might be interested in this type of content, why not share it? Sharing helps our community to grow faster in members and in content. If you want to keep track of my activity, videos, uploads, experiments, playlists, whatever content I'm getting on YouTube, be sure to click the subscribe button. Subscribing to the channel is totally free, guys. My dream is to create an online academy of chemical engineering, where everyone can access it in the world. Imagine a place in which the student, the teacher, and the engineer get the best of each other. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys for the support and the love.